There is a particular brawler here in this game that is dominating Brawl Stars in every single facet. Literally free trophies if you got them. Now we recently did a brawler spotlight here on this channel after a very, very long time for Poco and why he's so dang dominant in the game right now. However, this particular brawler puts Poco to shame, dude. The 1v3 machine non-killable the king, Sam. So Sam had a little bit of a strange introduction here to Brawl Stars, seeing that he is a chromatic in an update where there's two different brawlers, I feel like most of the eyes here in this update were on Gus. On top of that, with his very unique mechanics being speed boosts, healing, it made it a little bit challenging to determine whether or not Sam was actually going to be good here in the game before he was released, to the point where I even made a video questioning myself back and forth, trying to figure out whether or not he was going to be good. But oh boy, I wish I I had a time machine to take a look at where he's at right now in the meta because he is a monster. It takes full teams to take down this guy. 3v1. Taking a look at Brawl Time Ninja over here, and I don't necessarily love to utilize tools such as this for brawlers that are so new to the game because most of the data is skewed based on lower populations of people actually having these brawlers. So of course, make sure to take these statistics with a grain of salt, but I still think they are useful here. Taking a look at Sam's win rate, he's sitting at a 70.6% win rate. Now, of course, if the larger population of Brawl Stars had Sam unlocked, I would bet my bottom dollar that it would be a bit lower than that. However, the thing that stands out to me is his use rate. It is sitting at 2.84%, the third highest use rate in the entire game behind Poco in second place and Mortis in first. Whenever a brawler has very high win rate as well as use rate, it implies that they're utilized in a lot of situations and are successful in those situations. So a lot of different game modes. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video here today is because I feel almost Almost as if time is of the essence to push this guy if you are in desperate need of trophies because I feel a nerf coming his way. The thing that's making him absolutely busted in the game right now, destroying Brawl Stars itself, is his star power. Being able to recover 30% of your HP every single time you utilize your super picking them up is insane. To the point where if you don't have a direct tank counter on your team, like a Griff or a Shotgunner, you're going to have a very, very hard time dealing with Sam. If you have a more control-based comp, like a Poco, a Lobber, and a Colonel Ruff, say for example, Sam is going to steamroll through all of them, basically outliving that damage coming in and just 1v3ing every interaction. Taking a look at a video from Ash Brawl Stars over here on Twitter, a video that I like to show anyone who is questioning how good Sam is here in the meadow. Of course, it's not a 3v1, but it shows just how helpless certain brawlers can be in this game, even in the hands of a very, very good player, much like Ash. All right, guys, check this out. Here we got a clip of the new brawler, Sam. This is just absolutely filthy. I don't know why this is allowed. Look at this. I'm behind a wall. I got extra noxious, additional damage. He can't really do anything. He can't touch me. The new brawler, Sam, he can't touch me, but every single time I get him low, picks up the glove, just throws it on the wall, and heals back, and I can't do anything. I can't kill him. 100% hit rate in nothing. Nothing. Nothing I can do. Now, A, I know it's Barley. He can be helpless in a lot of different circumstances for hard counters, much like Sam here. But as you can see, Ash is doing a very good job utilizing every single resource in his arsenal to take down this brawler. And honestly, if it was any other brawler, Ash would have won here in this game. However, just the sustain that this brawler is getting off of his star power makes it literally impossible for Ash to win. He landed a super, a basic attack, a couple gadgets to slow him down and literally almost flawless accuracy with his basic attack chip damages here where again any other brawler would have lost in this circumstance his star power is literally cheating and i'm assuming it's going to be the focus of a nerf once he does get it and if you don't have a star power unlocked he is still an exceptional brawler the amount of mobility this character has moving around the map and doing whatever he wants is just insane 
Starting things off with a little bit of duo show down here again, one of the things that I've said countless times in the past and recently is one of the most important things in Brawl Stars is mobility. Having a brawler that can have increased movement speed whenever he wants basically is so, so dang good and shouldn't be overlooked. Let's pull him in. It's free. It's free. It's so free. And we just pick up this, heal up. Come here, Grom. You're next, buddy. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> It ain't gonna work, bud. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sam just makes brawlers feel helpless when he's going in. The recovery from the star power just, it feels like cheating, as we said before. Going in, getting a little bit of choppy lag, taking down to seven power cube Leon like it's nothing. He was a little bit damaged. I mean, we're at 650 trophies. I feel like this trophy range, normally, I have a little bit of a harder time with. But dude, like... It's easy. It's easy games. Let's see if we can do one more here, seeing that that match was very, very quick with the Rosa there. Let's see if we can do it with a different teammate that is a little bit less aggro. Okay, taking down the Rosa. Easy, easy. But here we are. Let's see. Yep, taking him down. Come here, Barley. You're next, bud. Sorry to do it to you. <laughs> it's insane. And his super does incredible damage. If you think about it, the amount of times you can use your super in one match, the projectile damage for it, Tank aggro brawler is just exceptional. It is wild. We can one-shot certain brawlers in this game. Let's go like this. Bop, bop, bop. And now let's go for the Shelly. But dude, as I said before, normally I have a very hard time at this trophy range in Showdown, but it just feels so free. You can go in and attack anyone you want. You just do what you want, dude. You do what you want with this guy and you win. It's too easy out here. <laughs> All right, moving along, we have 14 power cubes. It's been a while since I've had this many power cubes in a game. <laughs> We're just steamrolling at this point. And dude, you can do whatever you like here, Shelly. Do what you like. It's not going to make a difference. Come here, bull. Let me one shot you, dude. Pop. <laughs> 5,400 damage. It's too free. I'm not even trying and I suck at showdown. Here we have a squeak, a poco, and an amber, which I don't think should be a too big of an issue. I think, honestly, the amber might be the biggest problem, but we can free reign against any of these guys. I'm telling you, I can say this confidently. You can push Sam in any game mode right now. All right, let's see what we got here. We got poco. Come here, poco. Easy peasy. Dude, I feel like whenever it comes to aggro brawlers, all you got to do is just find yourself getting lucky. Just keep pressuring, and you can get a kill, an easy clutch kill. And there's no sweat. No sweat, dude. It's wild, dude. It's too wild. And then ending things off, taking to Brawl Ball here, which, in my opinion, is his best game mode by far. Being able to get your super so dang easily and making shots with them, I think it's huge. Absolutely insane. Okay, he's going to pass it up to me, and we kick it in, dude. And it doesn't hurt that he has insane health. He's a tanky brawler that gets a super multiple times a game. It's just too good in Brawl Ball, man. Okay, let's go like this. Let's go like this. We're getting tossed around, but it don't matter. HP, give me that HP. Give me that HP, dude. Come here, Crow. Take this super. <laughs> okay, rolling up. Let's see what we can do here. Our best target, I think, is the El Primo. And my goodness, we scored one, but our teammates are just wrecking. <laughs> just the matches feel too easy at this trophy range. I'm telling you guys, it is wild. Absolutely wild. Sam, push him right now because it is unfair. Look, guys, it's been a very, very long time here playing Brawl Stars where I've picked up a brawler and I just knew that this shouldn't be like this in the game and vice versa. When I play against them, I'm raging out of my mind because I can't do anything against him. Just knowing that he is exceptional in the game right now and quite honestly, breaking Brawl Stars. So of course, again, be sure to push him right now before he gets that nerf hammer. He's gonna be easy for trophies for a while now until that next set of balance changes, I'm assuming. But yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video here today, found it useful or entertaining at all. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. I'd really, really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you all in the next one. Adios, and take care.